Michigan won the toss, elected to defer. Tyrone Tracy, who actually took one back week one to start the second half, will look to do the same to begin this game tonight. Tracy will take it out from a yard deep. And Tracy is tripped up. Just gets past the 10, dumped down at the 12, and that's where this Purdue offense that's really struggled the last three weeks will start. Seven interceptions, three fumbles. He had two picks last week in the loss at Nebraska. Running on first down with Tracy. Finds the hole, sticks to the outside, and picks up nine and a half. Has a little bit of a short yardage type of back. First set of downs, card to the outside. First completion's going to go to Dixon Veal, and he is upended immediately. As you're going to see across the country, they haven't had a single defensive lineman play more than 35 snaps in a game. Card, a little too high for his intended target. That was George Burhan, third and seven. Card handles the snap, feels the rush, lost to the outside, incomplete. So Jack Ansel will come in for his first punt. Tyler Morris back to receive it for Michigan. Communication from this special teams operation. And Ansel just gets it away cleanly. Morris back at the 24. And he tripped up. Good tackle. Great open field, downfield tackle. And just operating at a really efficient level. They put Loveland in motion on first down. McCarthy will go to the air. Now he'll tuck it and run. Dive forward across the 25 to the 27. That's a very unique defensive structure. Uh, a tough handoff there and a bobbled snap by McCarthy does get to Corum. Morris in motion. McCarthy back to the air. Fires over the middle. Wide open. Roman Wilson. Big gain across the 45. Kalel Mullins in the game for the first time. Had missed the last couple of games. And Donovan Edwards, the other running back in the slot, handed to Mullins. Finds the hole. Puts it to the outside. And Mullins has a first down out of bounds. Now they're late getting there. Let's see if McCarthy can find them. Lost it. Sideline. Edwards with a step. He's got it. Out of bounds at the one. 39-yard gain. Donovan Edwards early and often in this game in a number of roles. There's a big catch to set up first and goal. And Corum will push it through. Touchdown, Michigan. Six-play, 76-yard drive in just over three minutes. And Turner will cap it with the extra point. Down there, he doesn't right. get the touchdown. He's only got one touchdown, the 14th running touchdown for Blake Corum this year. First play of the drive goes to Devin Mockaby, the former walk-on running back who struggled with fumbling the football. It looks like he put it on the ground and oh, did, and he did turn it over. His ninth fumble of the oh, year, no, 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 and Michigan's no, no, no. right there to scoop it up. How much do you say After to the review, guy? the runner's knee was down with possession of the ball. It's second down to do. So instead of Michigan possession, it's second down and six. And now Carr's going to have to escape. Slides down, gets hit after the fact. But he's athletic, a former wide receiver in high school. Third and six. Card over the middle, and it wasn't even in the general idea. Jack Ansel for his second punt, back to Tyler Morris. Ansel averaging 41.2 yards per punt. Fair catch called for and made at the 33 by Morris. First to, to greet him off the field. And that touchdown, no different, set up on the big catch by Edwards. Here's Corum on first down, trucks a man at the 35. Johnson, the motion man, on second and five. Play action for McCarthy with good time. A dart over the middle, back to Wilson. Crossing the field. Edwards split out in the slot, now motion. Pitch it to him. Edwards through the hole and just loses his footing. He said he is, it's killing him that he's technically behind Kadrian in the statistical categories. McCarthy, an incompletion looking for Loveland. Morris in motion on third down. Swing it to him on the outside. He's got nothing but green grass in front. First down and more. Dumped out of bounds in the red zone. Seen him in finally. That goal line once again. Bredesen in motion. Flip it behind. Cornelius Johnson circles around. Johnson tripped up. Sets up first and goal. And boy, this Michigan offense hard to stop right now. Back to Corum, Superman over the top, and he's in. Touchdown, Blake Corum, second of the day. Passing, running, reverse. Face off in Phoenix for the title. 
Doman will send it away with a 14 nothing advantage and Michigan will get another touchback. Now Hudson Carr will get his third crack at this Michigan defense that has been so stout this year. Feels the pressure. Lobs over the middle. It's intercepted. Will Johnson's got another. Johnson surveys and is caught up from behind. Tripped down at the 13. Make it the 12 for how to score after picking the ball off as Edwards first down carry is going to lose a yard red zone opportunity for their offense second and ten play action McCarthy swing it Edwards has to get away and he can't against Michigan State he and Colston Loveland lined up on the same side McCarthy on third and ten fires incomplete great coverage on Loveland beautifully done by Sanusi Kane. So James Turner will come on his ninth field goal attempt of the season. He's six of eight coming in. This one from 30 yards out. And he drills it. Quorum for the rest of that season down the stretch. And certainly for that game, he had a big game. 185 yards in the touchdown. Yeah, I mean, he had a great game against Ohio State in Quorum's absence and then came right back with but it. But he's got talent. Handoff Mockaby on first down. And he's gobbled up at the line of scrimmage. And you try to just make plays on your own. You got to trust the guys around you. Carr looking to escape. Dumps it down. Tyrone Tracy, the former wide receiver, is going to get close to first down yardage. And it'll be third and one. Tracy on the handoff. No running room. We call the exact same defense because they are all equally talented. Wow. And that one just gets off. Wobbly punt. Morris is going to let it bounce inside the 25. So Michigan gets a break here and Corum will look to take advantage dragging tacklers near the first down. He'll be a yard short of 37 yards has not carried the football yet. It will be Corum again and he surges forward. Wilson has had a couple of big catches in motion. Back to Corum. Slippery Corum tripped up by throwing the football which they've done. Play action for McCarthy. Plenty of time. Dumps it down for Corum. And Corum the stutter step. Five seconds left here. And they will get it off Mullins. Up the middle. First down. Gets to the 45. That's where they'll start the second quarter. To this offensive line. An excellent pronunciation by you on Olu's last name. Yeah. You deserve praise. First down for McCarthy. Swing it to the outside. Edwards again, but he Good drops it. Onto it. Sanusi Kane was right there with him, stride for stride. And vibrant feel. He's been a captain now, still looking for his first career interception as a senior. Run it up the middle with Mullings, and he'll keep the legs churning for a gain of three. Third and eight. After Morris was put in motion, McCarthy, a dart is incomplete. So Tommy Doman will punt it away for the first time. T.J. Sheffield, another captain of this Purdue team, back to receive it. And Sheffield steps up, calls for the fair catch, and makes it at the 10-yard line. A great quarterback, because we believe he will be. Here's a completion of Maccabi, and he lowers the shoulder across the 10. Second and six, Sainer still coming from the edge, and he's right there to greet Maccabi. Third and five, here comes the blitz. Card, uncorked, sideline, Sheffield makes the catch across midfield into Michigan territory. Does set up first down inside Michigan territory for the first time today, and Maccabee has the rock and will spin forward for a yard and a half, maybe two. We haven't seen him huddle yet. We thought they might do that if they felt there was a problem. Play action for Card, and he just gets rid of it. It may have gotten hit his arm. Getting close to that four down territory here on third and eight. Card amongst the pressure, incomplete looking for Deion Burks. Tyler Morris standing inside his own 10. Waiting for him. This one cleanly gets away and will bounce inside the five and takes a Michigan bounce into the end zone. Wilson, the motion man on first down for Michigan, pitch it to Corum. Corum following his blockers, but he didn't have anywhere to go. Could be a free play it is for McCarthy who fires over the middle. It's caught by Loveland a first down Michigan. Now we just saw Emba make a great play. This is him who jumps off sides and McCarthy knows he has a free play and hits his big tight end crossing the field. Offside 
Defense number zero in the neutral zone at the snap. The penalties declined. It's first down. Really the first time we're hearing from Chris Coit the first penalty of the night. This guy could be a first or second round pick with the talent that he possesses. Certainly as a blocker, he's improved as a pass catcher. First down throw for McCarthy. Wide open Roman Wilson for a gain of eight. And the extra hit at the end, that's going to draw a penalty. Markevious Brown was battling with him. First down. Sanusi Kane back in the game for this Purdue defense. McCarthy, deep drop, lofts it, incomplete. Oh, a deep hit to Maj Morgan, the intended target. A flag is down near the backfield as well. Watch him block the blitz. Holding offense number two, 10 yard penalty, first down. Uh, I think that's a terrible call. That, that's not holding at all. And a look for more here. McCarthy looking to get away. He won't. Major loss. Now second and 27. They will go back to the air again. McCarthy steps into one. A BB over the middle. It's caught down low by Cornelius Johnson and gets a lot of that penalty yardage back to the 29. They got Jenkins in a stand-up position. Instead of being on the end of the line, he's in a linebacker spot. Big time blitz. McCarthy dials it up on target for Roman Wilson. A first down. Play action. McCarthy lets it fly. Incomplete. Donovan Edwards in there. Todd, you mentioned earlier, only one touchdown on the season. He's been awfully close for a few others. He's got it on second down and picks up two. Edwards always dangerous catching out of the backfield. McCarthy rifles. Oh, nearly hauled in, but Loveland couldn't squeeze it. So Turner, the senior, already good from 30 today, has not missed from inside 40 this season. Will go from 31 and put it through. The Michigan Wolverines, who have won 20 consecutive games in the big house. Doman will send it away after the field goal. And Purdue. Who had a little bit of life on that last offensive possession. Rushers are having a field day right now against the two players playing offensive tackle. Tyron Tracy on first down. Never like to see that for a fifth year senior. Play action for Card. Swing it for Deion Burks. Finally gets a catch. Card four of 10, 59 yards. The interception of Will Johnson earlier in the game. Play action now on second and long. Card delivers short. Third and 18. Card lofts complete Burks to Tyler Morris and gets it away simple this time takes it oh, oh hit a Michigan hit player I think it did still loose who's going to get there first Purdue is on it did he get on it in the field of play it appears he did Quentin Johnston that's who it was the defensive back and either way card incomplete Card feeling it's going to tuck it in and run. He's got wheels. Card's got room inside the red zone, shoved out inside the 15. Mo Fresh set of downs for Card. Swing it outside, incomplete, but a flag. Number 88 of the offense was covered by a receiver near the sideline. Ineligible receiver downfield, offense number 88. It's the critical errors that they've been making to beat themselves. That's been the biggest issue with this offense as Mockaby busted to the outside, lowers the shoulder, and spins back to the 15. That's 11 percent touchdowns in the red zone. Card end zone broken up. More right there. Card deep drop flushed out. Card on the run end zone knocked away. Nearly intercepted. Will Johnson or deflected it. Johnson nearly had it. Now a 32 yard field goal attempt for free hit. He's one for four on the season. Make them two for five. That was what a turnover worthy play is. He was very fortunate it wasn't got, didn't get picked off, and they were able to put points on the board to firmly take control of this game. Power formation leads to a quorum run, second and seven. McCarthy loads it up. Oh, he's wide open with just over three minutes remaining. Morris in motion, McCarthy back to the air. Feeling the pressure over the middle, that's gonna be short, and it's dropped anyway. On fourth and one, Kalel Mullings is in. 
rather than Blake Corum on fourth and one. Michigan seven of ten on fourth down of the season. Nope. They're going to be seven of eleven. Putting their quarterback in a shotgun and starting from five yards deep on that handoff. Not a very good play call. Well now a big opportunity for Purdue as Tracy is going to drag tacklers with him for a pickup of seven. Up. We'll see what Hudson Card can do. Right back to Tracy. Up the middle, finds the hole inside the red zone, down to the 16 before he's met by Page. Fresh set of downs. Stick with the hot hand. Tracy, can he get away? He's going backward, and that was the wrong decision. Back to the 20. Josh Wallace drags him down. Loses four, second and 14. 50 seconds remaining in this second quarter. Card going to tuck it. Card gets away, wiggles through, and then goes down. Ball's going to have to come out quick, though, for Hudson Carr. Here he is on third down and eight. Comes out just quickly enough and incomplete. Got hit as he threw it. And Freehill's kick nearly got blocked. they got to either boot this out of the end zone or just make sure that they keep Michigan from putting any more points on there. Samaj Morgan, the freshman. Finds some space and then gets leveled across the 20 to the 23. McCarthy quickly right to Lovely and a first down. Purdue still showing man now they drop into zone and McCarthy recognizes it extends the play across his body wide open on the sideline. It's caught out of bounds. See, Cornelius Johnson now Purdue may show man but I would expect them to drop into zone. McCarthy gets rid of it. Oh incomplete. Purdue. Dylan. Will send three all the way to the goal line. McCarthy gets away. McCarthy extends the play. McCarthy tripped up. Nick Scorton, first sack of the ball game for him. Doesn't give up on a play. Michigan won the toss to start the game, elected to defer. So Caleb Crockover will send it away to Samaj Morgan, the freshman, and he will watch it sail into the end zone for a Michigan offense on the field as we go third quarter, KT, because Michigan has outscored their opponents 107-0 in the third quarter this year. McCarthy on first down, finds Wilson on the outside for six. Out there with Corum, who's got the football. Corum evades and will be short. Wilson, the motion man. McCarthy looking that way now surveys through his options escapes the rush fires and complete first down to Loveland see this is where JJ McCarthy just kills you absurd number for a guy who has just improved mightily this season here he is on first down and just will leave it play clock at five on second and eleven for him, patient hit keeps the legs working and will get it Three-man rush, dropping eight. McCarthy taking his time. Now the time runs out. McCarthy escapes, fires on the run. Knocked away. Stop for the Purdue defense. Yep. Ryan Walters said it. They need the big stop to start this third quarter. Keep that momentum from the end of the second on their side. Here's the fair catch called for and made by T.J. Sheffield. Hartwig back at center. And that's most important, a captain who missed the first three games of the season with an injury. Maccabee on first down, bursts forward, and Maccabee with a solid pickup. George Burhan is going to have to get in there for this second down and five as Maccabee has the handoff and picks up two more. Card feeling Happy the pressure. Feet. Happy feet. Just has to get rid of it. Burks nearly made the catch, but it's incomplete. So it'll be another punt for Ansel. And now Jake Thaw is back to receive it, and he's got some room to move. Not for long. And for Michigan, as we've talked about, these last four games, Jim Harbaugh compared it to when you're going to a playground to play basketball, you've got to assemble your team, and you've got to keep winning to stay on the court. That's a drop from Roman Wilson. Would have been a first down, but Markevious Brown. Quorum on second down. Navigates through to the tune of two and a half. Particularly on third down. Another opportunity to get off the field, but McCarthy, a laser, goes behind Cornelius Johnson and incomplete. 
according to their defensive coordinator Kevin Kane anticipating a lot better and then that's going to be a critical mistake just running directly into that punter as Doman let it fly and this one the penalties absolutely fly as well yeah but if it's running into the kicker it's a five yard penalty which will not give Michigan a first down Brian Walters beside himself it's a bad angle to the punter We already saw one play where there was no penalty called against the Purdue punter. It was Joseph Jefferson. Running into the kicker, receiving team number 32. The penalties declined. It's first and 10. They like their field position on a 43 yard kick. Fairly scoreless. They just a field goal in the second quarter after a 17 point first quarter. Michigan has been dominant in the third quarter this year and Purdue has done a good job so far of containing that as Tracy has the first down handoff and will pick up four more. Now Purdue really needs Hudson card to step up. I mean he just has to step up here. He's five of 17 right now for 71 yards. Last week he threw for 100 yards at Nebraska completed 50 percent of his passes two turnovers two interceptions. I mean the defense has settled in here right they're playing nose to nose with Michigan. They need to get some complimentary football from their offense and it really falls on number one to make some plays throwing the football and they got to get the ball to Deion Burks their playmaker on the outside. He is the big play threat play action card over the middle. There's a completion. It is Garrett Miller back in the game for a first down and see the difference with Hudson card when his feet are quiet right. It's an RPO throw. He sets his feet and he hits the tight end with timing and with accuracy. He's under pressure but his feet are calm and he makes a good throw. Sets up a first down. Tracy in there they go back to the air quick strike again here is Burks on a catch and extension and is down at the 24. It's just third quarter dominance for Michigan and that's what makes this a little more surprising the fact that they haven't really stepped on that throat like they have all year 107 and nothing to this point. Yeah well the defense has done their part it's just the offense has not been able to muster much here in the third quarter against a P Purdue defense that as you mentioned after the first two drives they've kind of settled into this game. They got their cleats in the ground and they've done a great job against the run first and foremost. Tracy is going to push it and come up a yard shy sets up third and one as Michael Barrett levels him there. Now Michael Barrett is kind of the epitome of what happens when a guy gets developed at the University of Michigan. He comes in here. He's here for six years or five years and he just gets better and better each year and right now he is playing at a very high level. But it took a while for him to become the player that he is. Coaches in the conference recognize that voted him third team all Big Ten a year ago. Here's a third and one for Hudson Card in this Purdue offense. Fake the handoff. Card's going to keep. He's got it, but a flag is down. Personal foul. Shot block. Offense number 52 and 73. Just don't do something dangerous and punt the football if you have to. Deep drop card unloads. He's got it, but not close enough for a first down. Jaden Dixon Veal makes the catch. Had a touchdown last week, gains 11. They needed 14. Good protection, zone defense. Veal does a nice job of sitting down in the middle of the zone. And it was a good throw by Hudson Card. They don't get the first down, but they got a little breathing room to punt the football. Try to flip the field here with their defense playing at a high level. So Ansel with another punt. Thaw again back to receive it. Wobbly kick. Thaw goes up and makes the fair catch. Everything went down a year ago and amazing to see him back on the field with Buffalo this year. All right, Michigan back to work. Get it to Samaj Morgan. He's a playmaker with a ball in his hands and then stopped in his tracks after he crosses the four to the 42. 
Well, we talked about this Purdue defense and the structure being so different. Here's the three key guys, the two outside linebackers, and look how deep this middle safety is. And he plays most of the game back there, and it's a very unique defensive structure. It's a five-man defensive front, mostly man coverage, and a freshman free safety who has to clean up a lot of messes in either the run or the pass. And he does it at a very high level, well on his way to being a freshman All-American as Corum just disappears in the pile and is downed at the 45, so it sets up third and three. But Thieneman, you talk to his teammates, talk to his coaches, everybody raves about his preparation, the way yeah. he carries himself, and they actually had to get him to kind of take it back a step, especially in practice, he was going so hard. And two older brothers that played at Purdue, both were good players, but I think he's the best, or the most talented. One of the fastest guys on the entire football team as well. Another third down opportunity for this Purdue defense. Johnson, the motion man, third and three. McCarthy, a dart, Roman Wilson, his go-to guy in a Purdue territory for a first down. Good job, right time by Michigan, going to the crossing routes. Mesh routes versus press man-to-man -man coverage. So you got three receivers going in, Wilson goes in and comes back out, and he gets the completion. A short throw, but a nice concept there with the three receivers to the same side. Wilson still without a touchdown, which has been not super common. Ten touchdowns on the season to lead the team. And it Morgan on the end around. He's got speed down the sideline. Samaj Morgan, touchdown. 44 yards, electrifying from the freshman. You see the dynamic playability of Morgan on full display. Turner's extra point makes this 27 to 6. Doman will send it away. And Tracy is going to let it fly into the end zone as we bring back. That young knows about Walter Payton, right? He's excited about it. the greatness. That was a, a botched handoff issue snap. Just two catches for 19 yards. be on the handoff. And he surges forward to the 30. Let's see what this defense does on third and five. Here comes the blitz. Card incomplete. Jake Thaw will be back to retrieve this kick from Ansel. Line drive, and Thaw will field it at the 23 and look to go. Thaw finds a seam to the outside. Shimmy Shake. Thaw gets a block into Purdue territory, and Russell that abounds at the 45. Smoking like a true quarterback, like a national champion winning quarterback. We'll see J.J. McCarthy is hoping to add his name to that list as well as he stands in the pocket, feels the rush, and delivers to Roman Wilson. On a first and ten with Loveland in motion, handed off for Edwards. Edwards bouncing off tacklers, and he just couldn't escape. Rushing touchdowns, two from Corum and one from the wide receiver Morgan, who's in motion. McCarthy looks that way, now fires towards the sideline. It's Loveland at a first down. Well, they're going to fake a screen. They're going to send a guy deep, and then they're going to run Loveland right into this area. Really well-conceived play. Fake the screen, send Roman Wilson deep, and then have single coverage on Loveland. And McCarthy makes the right choice of where to go with the ball. Nice concept right there for a big play. And Michigan will not get this play off before the end of the third quarter. So. And number two's got the football. Extra offensive lineman lined up to the right tight end, Trent A. Jones. There he is, Corum on the handoff. Hops through and picks up a couple. Set up second and goal. Reddison at that fullback spot. Corum hesitates and he's in. Touchdown, third of the day for Blake Corum. Career touchdown ties Tyrone Wheatley for second in Michigan history. And that's what Blake Quorum does. He's not necessarily the tallest player in the world, but he packs a punch. He works incredibly hard, comes from that St. Francis program, 
where he learned under the tutelage of Biff Pogey and others and has the game where they want it in control for the fourth quarter and we've talked about this with Michigan throughout the season when we've had them before as Carbs going to take it himself and will gain five yards on the keeper. It just feels like they might not have to dominate early in the game but eventually they wear you down and that's essentially their their feel to their team is because they can rotate so much defensively right. because they have all these weapons on the offensive end. They're just going to continue to hit you until eventually you surrender. Yeah, and they, and they stick with who they are. They know who they are. They stick to their plan, and they ultimately wear people down. Card on second down. Feeling the pressure. He's going to go down. Chris Jenkins beautifully done on the rush and adds another one to his tally on the season. Loses six. Little stunt on the inside between these two guys. Both powerful men at defensive tackle and again remember these defensive linemen average 30 snaps a game they are fresh for a whole 60 minute game because they play three or four plays in a row as full as they can go and then they get a break card feeling it again slips through card on the run lofts it oh. had him wide open it was Burks and incomplete yeah he had a chance there he did a nice job extending the play getting out of the pocket but just unable to connect with Burt. Mm. And that would have been one of those chunk plays that they so desperately need in this offense. That is the third three and out of the half. And now Brennan Cropsey is going to be the new punter out there for Purdue. After the big return by Thaw in the last one, and that's going to be contact. And no flag comes in, so it'll be Thaw again with LSU. Meanwhile, J.J. McCarthy in the offense stays out there with a 34-6 lead. And Edwards, again, felt like he needed to break one more tackle, but wait for something to open. Here he comes on second and eight. Patient again in the pocket and delivers to Morgan. Morgan gets away and is tripped up by Sanusi Kane. Another big gain to the freshman flips the field into Purdue territory 24 yards. Well, we just showed you a highlight package of this exact same thing. A little bit of pressure picked up by Donovan Edwards. No panic. There's bodies around you, but you keep your eyes downfield. You keep your feet calm and you wait for something to open up. And Samaj Morgan with another big time play. And I don't know. That's probably what seven or eight passes of 20 yards or more. For J.J. McCarthy, explosive plays all night by this Michigan offense. Yeah, McCarthy now knocking on the door of 300 yards. He's got 290 on 22 completions. Still without the touchdown as the play clock's down at three. Under center in the eye, they hand it. Edwards, patient, and just plunges forward for a yard and a half. See, this is the other difference to me in, the, in this Michigan offense this year because of J.J. McCarthy. Last year, they averaged about 245 yards a game rushing. They were a heavy run first dominant team tonight. They've only got 77 yards rushing. OK, or I take that back 109 yards rushing still well below what they're used to getting. But they have the ability to say, OK, if you're going to stop our run and gang up on a run, our quarterback will beat you throwing it and we'll throw for 300 against you. And that's what J.J. McCarthy and this offense has been able to do this year. And that's what Ryan Walters and defensive coordinator Kevin Kane on the Purdue side really stressed. They said when you watch this team, their pieces are all very similar as McCarthy is going to get taken down. Another sack for Nick Scorton. Yeah, Nick Scorton, I mean, he knows who he's working against, and he also knows this move of McCarthy, this spin out move, and he's ready for it. So he rushes, but he's under control. And when McCarthy tries that spin out, he's right there ready. No wasted steps. He was prepared from study and ready for that move by J.J. McCarthy. Third sack, sixth tackle for loss on the game. But that's what Ryan Walters and, and Kevin Kane said. It's the development of McCarthy that's taken this team to a different level. And they've recognized that his decision making is at a completely different place than it was last year. Third and 17. Let's see what he does here. McCarthy unloads over the middle and complete looking for Morgan and tight coverage by Alessandro and McCarthy took a hit towards the end of that throw. Seems to be OK as he jogs off the field. And it was Jenkins. He got sandwiched by Emba. Tommy Dolan in 
America. You wonder if we'll see JJ at any point the rest of the way here. Well, I thought for sure if they would have scored on that drive, that would have been the night for him. But we'll see on their next possession. Doman with a solid punt that will go out of bounds inside the five. They'll mark it at the three. Home against Ohio State, he's going to have to play 60 minutes of football. Maccabi lowers the shoulder a bit and picks up four. The other side of that is you certainly don't want him to get banged up or nicked up before those games are, are on the schedule as well. We've sat down with JJ, an impressive young man who really has a, a routine that he has built this year that he believes is one of the keys to his success. Maccabi finds a nice gain in a first down. Junior Colson wraps him up. And, and for Purdue, there are some positives to take away from this game tonight, even if things don't improve necessarily with more points in this second half. But defensively, again, they played pretty well against yeah. one of the better offenses in the country. And offensively, they know what they need to improve. And Hudson Card feels like he personally knows what he needs to improve. That comes with time, that comes with reps, that comes with experience, which they've gotten this year as Mockaby will carry it again and pick up another yard. Yeah, complimentary football is just so important. You know, I mean, the, the offense feeds the defense, the defense feeds the offense. They both work in conjunction with special teams. And, you know, Michigan has that right now, and Purdue doesn't quite have that. Early in the season, the offense was a little ahead of the defense. At this point in the year, the defense is outshining the offense, and they just haven't been able to quite mesh it together. Put together a nice stretch in that second quarter to narrow the gap going into the break as Tracy makes the catch and then steps out of bounds after a modest gain to set up third and short. They get third and medium maybe. Tyrone Tracy was a wide receiver at Iowa, transferred to Purdue. Last year the Purdue staff led by Jeff Brom kind of moved him around in a lot of different spots. This year they decided to keep him at tailback, but on that play you see what he can do kind of as a receiver with the ball in his hands in space. This Michigan defense has been suffocating on third down so far tonight. Card rolling out. Card spins away. And Card just somewhat gets rid of it a little bit too high for Sawinski as Colson provided the pressure. See now, I want you to watch this. Stop it right there. He didn't need to leave the pocket. Hudson Card left the pocket on his own. The protection was good enough to stay in the pocket. And then once he left, he had nowhere to go with the football. The blitz was picked up by Tracy. And again, that's that trust. Hudson Card has to trust that the protection will be there. And the more he plays, the more reps he gets, the more comfortable he'll get at doing that. That was probably the biggest buzzword we heard in our meetings with the Purdue coaching staff and players. Oh, major collision as Thaw was coming up to make the fair catch. Unexpected collision. Thaw not even looking, looking towards that football. Yeah, just ran directly into him. Well, that can't be a penalty. No. I mean, he was not pushed into him. His own man ran over. There is over. no foul on the player. The player no. that made contact was a receiving team player. It's first and ten. Yards, yeah. Exactly, and so we wonder what that does for his candidacy. J.J. McCarthy perfectly in the bucket for Roman Wilson. He's up over 300 on the day, and another catch up over 100 now receiving for number one. When you run that slot fade, you just have so much field to work with. So he presses the defender inside, almost bobbled it and dropped it, but a beautiful throw by J.J. McCarthy. And again, you run that route out of the slot, you have all kind of room to get the ball towards the sideline. So McCarthy now with 325, Wilson with a 132. That one goes for 35 yards. And here are those fourth quarter reps. You've got Barner still in there. You've got Donovan Edwards now in there. And McCarthy tried to get it over the middle to another starter, and Cornelius Johnson still in there with 634 to play. 
But this is a team that hasn't gotten many fourth quarter reps, just plain and simple. They have been up such big margins in these games that they haven't had to play their starters. And knowing that you've got these three big games down the stretch might not be the worst thing. Yeah, I think if they score a touchdown here, that'll be it for J.J. and some of the other guys. But uh, well, you want to get them some work in the fourth quarter because you're going to have to rely on them to play 60 minutes coming up. Edwards hesitates and explodes really intelligent questions and have helped him as a football player on and off the field to make throws like that another one goes to Wilson to set up first and goal. Nice job by Wilson just finding the hole in the zone defense again look at the eyes of McCarthy scanning the field and finds an opening in the middle to Roman Wilson his go to wide receiver. This could be Donovan Edwards time to try to get a touchdown here. He's only got one rushing touchdown on the season. Normally this is where Blake Corm is in the game. Got those three tight ends on the end of the line Edwards plunging forward. And they mark him down at the one. They're going to keep Donovan in. They're bringing Trente Jones in. They're heavy tight end. A couple weeks ago against Indiana, Edwards brought them all the way towards the goal line. And he said, no, no, no I want to stay in. They put Blake Corm in there. Eventually they told him, we're going to get you your touchdown. They did in the fourth quarter. Is it the same fate here tonight? Yes, sir. Donovan Edwards, touchdown, Michigan. As Turner looks to add the extra point and does. Corn is sitting in an easy chair watching that <laughs> scintillating 10-7 Iowa win over Northwestern. That's more Josh's kind of game. You know what? Iowa football continues to get it done. That's Big Ten football right there. Joshua, I mean, look, when you're a leading tackler of a national championship team, you think one way. And if you're the leading quarterback of a national championship winning team, you think a different way. It's, I like getting it's both perspectives. Complimentary broadcasting. Complimentary broadcasting right there. I love it. All right, first and ten now for this Purdue offense. Looked like Hudson Card was ready to come back out there and we'll see if they do send them out there they will so similar to what we're talking about with Michigan getting the fourth quarter reps we mentioned it earlier in the broadcast they're looking at Hudson Card this year as basically a freshman it's yeah. your first year so getting any sort of experience on the road against a good team that's positive for his potential growth moving forward as Tracy carries for a yard yeah I mean I just believe that Hudson Card is going to have better days at Purdue than tonight or last week at Nebraska I think he's a talented guy. I think he's a, a you know he's a diligent worker. He wants to be good. He wants to be coached. And he's just got to keep grinding. You know he's got to keep working and keep grinding and keep believing and trusting in himself and the guys around him. Card swing it. Dixon Veal weaves his way through and picks up a first down. Again this is a Purdue team that is missing up to seven stars right, right. and we saw Garrett Miller who filled in for Max there go down briefly he's back in there you see big number 88 with that left leg wrapped up but Ryan Walters in his first year as a head coach has seen a little bit of everything yeah. and when we talked to JJ McCarthy in the Michigan side they felt like they went through a whole season in one game at the end of the year last year with the TCU game in the college football playoff Ryan Walters has been through now a lot yeah. in his first season as a head coach which is only going to allow him to grow in that leadership role as well. Tracy oh what a jump cut and Tracy is into the secondary nice run by the former wide receiver Sab knocks him out of bounds but he picks up 21 on the ground well you see how dynamic he can be little counter play pull the backside guard and tackle and a missed tackle there and Tracy shows you that burst once he broke a tackle. For Purdue last three games they've got two of them at home in West Lafayette one at Northwestern which has been a team that's certainly performed much better than expectation back to Dixon Veal and he just veers towards that sideline and goes down low to get the extra half yard it'll be a first down. 
Michigan defensively all season. They have the best scoring average against in all of the country. They have allowed 10 or fewer in their first eight games coming in. This will be number nine if they can keep them out of the end zone here with 227 to play. Another handoff. Tracy. Oh, nearly bust that one loose. But he was tripped up from behind by Josiah Stewart. A little slow to get up. Will be helped up by his teammates. Well, again, one of the things this Michigan defense has been outstanding on, uh, not just not giving up points, but excellent in the red zone. I mean, Purdue threatened them a couple times in the red zone, could only come away with field goals. They don't allow people to score touchdowns. They've only given up five offensive touchdowns all season. Three passing and two rushing. That, that's ridiculous. Maccabi now in there, and he just gets swallowed up by those interior linemen, including Mason Graham, who has been a revelation once again for this Michigan front. Yeah, Mason Graham is, uh, is a great high school wrestler, and you can see that in his game. He has a lot of twitch to him. He's quick. He's got tremendous balance, strong hands, strong grip, understands leverage, and just one of those powerful guys on the inside of this Wolverine defense. Maccabi, and he gets crunched. Picks up one, sets up fourth down. And now we'll see if Purdue will try to keep this offense on the field. Looks like they will with a minute to play. Well, the last time out, this Michigan defense got their first shutout of the year, a 49 to nothing win over in-state rival Michigan State. They can't get a shutout, but they can get another game without giving up a touchdown here. And it comes down to this fourth down play. And Purdue on the season, five for 19 on fourth down. Card taking his time, play clock down to five. And they just try to draw. So Purdue time will take the timeout. Either Ohio State or Michigan. They came up short against the Buckeyes in Columbus, but they get the Wolverines in Happy Valley next week. The only good news for Michigan, it's not a whiteout night game. It's a 12 noon game, which is a little bit better to deal with. Fourth and three, Carr just going to lob it up. It's caught. Burks is in there for the touchdown. Most points that Michigan has allowed this season comes with 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Three Hills extra point is good. It has only given up five touchdowns all year. That's a silver lining to take home with you. And yeah, Krakover will kick that one out of bounds. Meanwhile, for Michigan, there's the Tuttle is going to take this final snap and knee it down. So Michigan with questions and eyeballs surrounding the program in a rematch of the Big Ten championship game from a year ago. The Wolverines deliver once again. 41-13, the number three team in the country. An all-around performance at home tonight. 